despite the recent sell-off in yields, uh, we think fixed income continues to play a very important part um, in a investor's overall asset allocation. Uh, this is the higher quality segment of the portfolio. It's the segment of the portfolio that generates a steady, consistent income stream. That could be a nominal income stream. It could be a floating income stream. It could be an inflation-adjusted income stream. But also that's an area of the portfolio that helps protect against negative economic scenarios. Shocks to financial markets, uh, fear um, in financial markets, a meaningful slowdown in economic growth, which is terrible for nearly all parties. And we do think at these higher yield levels now, there's a bit more cushion from a valuation perspective to be able to provide um, good price performance during those states of the world that are very, very troubling uh, for end investors. The yield curve is very flat today. So you don't need to take the same amount of interest rate exposure you did in the past in order to achieve the same income stream. The flattening of the curve has been massive. And today you can generate, again, as an example, the similar yield at a two-year maturity with very little duration exposure than you can in longer maturities. There's still a place for longer maturity bonds in a portfolio. Uh, they tend to provide better price uh, appreciation during challenging economic environments. But for an income-oriented investor, especially investors that are tied to floating rate instruments, the yield's gone up and prices have remained fairly stable. So it's nuanced. Um, again, uh, across the full spectrum of opportunities, there are some interesting areas uh, that we think investors should focus on and stay invested uh, within, within fixed income.